and gentlemen, I'm sure you all know who this bad boy introduced you to. But Rita Cox was um, Rita's first branch head, and she was able to come today, and she'd like to say a few words. I can't believe the time has gone by. 39 years. You have no right to do that. But I remember, I remember so much. I remember Marina coming in as a page from Parkdale um, Collegiate. Shy. Very shy. A little bit timid. A little bit timid. You know? Very careful how, how she um, did her work. But in no time, she grew to be with the other pages. She grew to, to be a leader among the pages. She grew to tell them what to do and what not to do. <laughs> her leadership skills showed even then. She was always very supportive, a little bit unsure of herself, and that too got better and better as she developed in the job. And then she went away and she came back to us as a full-fledged staff member. And that kind of, I will never forget the support, the attention, the caring, and the wonderful interpersonal skills that she was able to bring people together. And because of that, I took advantage. <laughs> she became a puppeteer. She became a storyteller. She became a party organizer, a picnic coordinator. I don't know anything that Marina hasn't done. And we have had some wonderful, wonderful time in this branch and in this community. And Marina has had a lot to do with, for me, from my point of view, and from I think the rest of the staff, with helping to make it such a successful, and I have to say that this has been one of the most amazing uh, stories in library service, this part there. And I know there are lots of people who will tell you about the crazy things we, we had a crazy community to deal with, but we had a staff to match. One of them who was among the most supportive ones is Marina. And I would like to say to her personally, to thank her for all the support that she's given me through the years, that she's given to all of us. And how proud I am of how she developed to become somebody that I saw and I probably said that everybody wanted a piece of Marina. <laughs> and it was a long, long journey, but always I could depend on, on her support. Always I could depend on her good, uh, good, her personal skills, you know, her sense of humor. She got mad at people too and she told them off. <laughs> that wasn't something she did in the beginning. And I heard all the little expressions she made and they brought back a lot of memories of the things she'd do when she was frustrated. But always, she rose to the occasion. And I am so happy to have been, to have had her as part of my professional life and also as my personal life, because I have so many good memories of all the people who worked with me in this branch and otherwise. I have such wonderful, wonderful memories. And if we go back to, to, to um, talking about the good old days, there's so much we could talk about, so many stories to tell, so many things to laugh about, lots to cry about too because of the community. But I'm sure that all of us who came together to work in this branch will remember what a wonderful, wonderful experience it was to work here. And that Marina was one of the major reasons 
for helping us to be such a success. This library system, this library, this branch, this community still means a great deal to me. I still feel a, a part of it, and I'm sure Marina will continue to feel part of this community because this community gives back. It was the community that made this library what it is. Their response, their involvement, and still I hear after all these years people talking about what they experience from the service of this branch. Thank you.